Try one more time. Ready and go. It's like from last week episode. Episode four to two. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome here, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. Be sure to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So I don't know if you guys remember this scene from last week. Okay, then I'll see you tomorrow, okay? And we're playing 19 holes. 19 holes? You wanna go? Yeah, you wanna? I'll, I'll drive you. Yeah. Yeah, you can be my caddy. Yeah, we'll go for a scenic tour of the golf course. Yes, I think we're going to be there. Okay, yeah, yeah we'll do it, we'll do it. But I'm here at Harmony Creek Golf Center to play a little golf with Tito Eddie. Oh, watch for cars, Dad. Yes. So true to fashion, we're gonna take no warm up and try to golf like my Toto Ron. Just grip it and rip it. So this shot is for you, Toto Ron. Happy belated birthday. This one's for you, Toto Ron. A trash panda on the golf course. Woo! Where's that trash panda? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Woo! We made it, Dad. We did all 18 holes. 18 holes this time. We made it. This is uh, my favorite club here. Yeah. What club is that? It's uh, number three. <laughs> You're just reading what's on it. Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! So for the Back nine, I hit 52. Par is 31. 64 out, total 116, which is, if you minus 63, 53 above par. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm proving. 53 above par. <laughs> Guys, I just want to thank my dad for coming with me on my first 18 hole golf experience. How'd you, <laughs> how'd you like it, dad? Oh, very much. I like it very much. <laughs> Happy Father's Day! <laughs> Love you, Dad! Love you! Alright. <laughs> <Hello. laughs> and so now, back in Scarborough after hanging out with my dad on the golf course, having some dinner with the family, then driving more than an hour and a half through traffic all the way downtown to pick up the fiancé after her day shift, I just wanted to recap how busy my day was today. So basically, I woke up around 6 o'clock this morning, before the sun was even out, so I can drive the fiancé safely to work for her day shift. Then I headed over to the closest Planet Fitness to edit the most recent Live From Last Week episode. Then, after three hours of doing that, I rewarded myself with a nice Planet Fitness Hydro Massage. Next, just before noon, I headed over to Nathan Phillips Square, Toronto City Hall, to fill out an application for a wedding license for the wedding that I'm gonna have quite soon. Then, took a more than an hour travels all the way back home to cook some lunch for my family in the kitchen of the house that I grew up in for the first time in almost 20 years. Then, after we ate, I took my dad out to the golf course for the Father's Day gift that I gave to him. Which of course was that golfing session that was featured earlier. In other news, I don't know if you guys heard, but Facebook, Instagram, and other social media outlets were down yesterday. Meaning, the things that reminded people of when their birthdays were, were unavailable. 
which meant, me personally, I might have missed one or two birthday greetings from yesterday. So I'm gonna make up for it by doing a belated birthday greeting for you guys today. I just want to wish a happy belated birthday to Nat. Happy belated birthday, Nat. I'm remembering just last year how we used to play beach volleyball twos together. And how we used to work as a team and how you would always finish off the points I would set you up with. Anyways, Nat, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. And I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. So I'm just about to start the second half of my stretch where I have eight shifts in 11 days. Going in tonight for the first of my four night shifts in five days. And all I've been doing is just editing my Live From Last Week episode that comes out on Friday. So if you guys haven't checked out Live From Last Week episode 41, go check it out now. But yeah, editing video takes so long. And if you guys don't know, it takes about 20 to 24 hours each episode to edit. And that's not including the time it takes to shoot these videos. But yeah, I just want to take this time to thank all my jaywalkers that are watching and following me. Because it just goes to show that all that hard work is being appreciated. So thanks again, guys. Alright, so off to my first of my three night shifts tonight. And I'll just see you guys tomorrow. So guys, last night was yet another busy night shift. Which was a little bit of a mess because A, we were short-staffed. And B, we only had one specialty trained healthcare worker when usually there are two specialty trained healthcare workers working in the unit that I was working in. But luckily we had my big man Tyler stay after his shift for a little bit to be the second specialty trained healthcare worker on that unit. And I just have a special shout out to one of my coworkers, Camille, who helped hold down the fort for the rest of the shift until the day shift workers came on this morning. And speaking of which, before I go in for my second or my third night shifts tonight, I checked on my Facebook memories page and saw about 10 years ago, I went to rehab. Which at that time, if you guys remember, was a club in Mississauga. And I was trying to figure out why exactly I was there. And it was for a birthday celebration for one of my friends that lives out there. So for today, I want to wish a happy birthday greeting to that person, Kevin. Happy birthday, Kevin. I'm remembering this guy being a big Green Bay Packers fan, always referencing him to the legend Aaron Rodgers as well as going to your place to watch a couple of Pacquiao fights back in the day. Anyways, Mr. Aaron Rodgers, AKA Kevin, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Say hi to the family for me, and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. Wow, so with yet another busy night shift last night, having a confused patient that gets up every five minutes and needing reorientation, I'm hoping that tonight, my third of my three night shifts will go a little bit smoother. But there were a couple of positive things that I wanted to take away from yesterday and today. Such as this historic moment, when I finally found an open parking spot on the ground level before I went into work. And you guys remember this fashion show from a couple of months ago? Well, the fiance and I have a wedding to attend tomorrow. And because for the past couple of months, I've been dieting and staying away from junk food, we were able to try out those suits once again. And believe it or not, I still fit in them. And yeah, before I go in for my night shift tonight, I just have a birthday greeting for one of my childhood friends, Michael. Happy birthday, Michael. I remember our times playing on the playgrounds of Mother Teresa when we were younger, as well as hanging out with you at your place back in the day on Windham Crescent. Anyways, Michael, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. So after working that stretch of three night shifts, I finally have a day off. And this morning, when I came home from work, I decided to have what some people might consider an interesting breakfast. So I prepared the usual bread, eggs, and fried turkey, but the X factor in this meal was homemade apple pie, which we're gonna credit Jersey for making that. So shout outs to Jersey for being an amazing baker. But yeah, like I mentioned before, some people might call it interesting, mainly because you could have breakfast with bread, eggs, and turkey, but also have a Thanksgiving themed meal with turkey and apple pie. But if you eliminate the turkey aspect of my breakfast, technically you're eating an egg omelet with apple pie. So guys, share in the comments below, what are your thoughts? Does apple pie go in a meal with eggs? Or does that combo not sit right with you? But anyways, after having a two hour nap after having breakfast, I played an Uber driver chauffeuring the fiance to a wedding event that she's helping coordinate today. And this one was at the nearby historic place called the Guild. And after coming back home and trying to sleep again, but not being able to do so, it's time to put on the suit and wedding gear 
and attend our friends Andrea and Jake's wedding this evening. So let's get suited. Alright guys, let's head to the wedding. So after an amazing night of strong drinks, delicious Indian food, and reuniting with friends that we haven't seen in a long time, not to mention all the fun that we had on the dance floor, I just want to throw a big thanks to Jake and Andrea for throwing an amazing wedding reception. But now, on to today, where I woke up early to Uber drive the fiancé to Mississauga to go Thanksgiving Day weekend grocery shopping and check out some frozen turkeys. I dropped her off at her parents' place so that she can get picked up to go all the way to London to visit her brother for a nice Thanksgiving Day dinner with her family over there. I also got the chance to check out the progress on the renovations for their new kitchen, which, if you guys can remember, looked like this just a couple weeks ago. But anyways, now I'm back home in Scarborough, just waiting to go to work for a random Thanksgiving Day weekend night shift. And before I do my commute, I just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys for today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to one of my beach volleyball friends, Melissa. Happy birthday, Melissa. I'm remembering teaming up with you playing twos on the beach last year. And even though we haven't played together yet this year, I'm hoping that before it starts to snow at the beach, we'll be able to get a couple games in together. Anyways, Melissa, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday. And for the second birthday greeting that I have for you guys today is for one of my titas who's no longer with us right now. And this birthday greeting is to my Tita Olav. Happy birthday, Tita Olav. I'm wearing this shirt for you in memory of you for today. That, if you guys don't know about, is in loving memory of you. But yeah, I'm remembering the times that we would randomly meet up at the Eaton Center food court. And you would treat me to any meal that I had of my choosing. And also, although you were sick, you would always have a smile on your face and always talk about the positive things in life. Anyways, Tita Olive, hope you're doing well up there. Keep looking over us in our everyday lives. And just know that we all miss you and we're thinking about you on your birthday today. So after finishing a stretch of 8 shifts in 11 days, I still decided to have a busy morning before I had my post-night shift nap earlier today. Basically, I mini carpooled one of my co-workers, Kennedy. Hey guys, Kennedy actually gets to drive, or drive, Kennedy gets to ride shotgun. Then went back to the hospital to pick up one of my other co-workers, Josie, and drove her home, but not before we drove by the recently demolished old ruins of the Gardner Expressway ramp. I then went home to shower and change, went by a friend's house to help drop off some mail, then finally arrived in Mississauga at around 10.45 a.m. to lay down, crash, and get some sleep on a bed at the fiancé's parents' place. Then, after a three-hour nap, 
I picked up the fiance so we can get some dim sum takeout at the perfect restaurant. Drove all the way to my hometown an hour away and we visited my parents for a Thanksgiving dinner. Perfect dim sum. For Thanksgiving. And did I mention that we also included my sister in the Thanksgiving dinner that we had tonight? We took this picture with her earlier, but I don't know if you guys can see it. There. That is a better picture. And one thing that I'm thankful for this year was seeing my dad, Tito Eddie, regaining his strength and feeling better little by little compared to how he felt last week. Dad, let's see your hand. Wow, forte. Strong. Oh yeah, okay, touch my finger. Touch my, touch your nose. Touch your nose, touch my finger. Touch my, touch your nose. Touch my finger. Touch your nose. Yeah! <laughs> I also got to check out the progress of one of their washrooms that I videoed from a previous episode. Checking out my parents' bathroom. And whoa, what happened to the bathtub and shower? Let's see how this bathroom looks. Ooh, I like the marble. Ooh, and the niche on the side. Classy. But yeah, all in all, it's been a good day. For which, I also have a couple of birthday greetings. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to Jaja. Happy birthday, Jaja. I'm remembering visiting you and your family in the Boston area when I was younger. As well as reuniting with you at the SMIOA event a couple years back. Anyways, Jaja, hope you're doing well, stay safe and healthy with your family, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday. And one more birthday greeting that I have for you guys for today is for Benjamin. Happy birthday, Benjamin. I'm remembering having gym with you in Mr. Leonard's class back at St. Stephen's, as well as randomly running into you when I was living in Neil Wysick back in downtown Toronto. Anyways, Ben, hope you too are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you also had a great birthday. But anyways guys, it looks like we've come up to the end of this week's episode. So if you've enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. But before we go, we have a quick message for you guys from my family. Hello! Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving, YouTube! Cheers! 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 Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! God bless! And yeah, in the theme of Thanksgiving, want to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.